Hello crypto fam thanks for tuning back to my channel in today's video we will discuss how to get the balance of a specific ERC20 token in users wallet we will use web3 library and we will write the code in node.js so let's get started i'll be using gorli testnet for this demo so that all of you can follow along and test it and tweak this demo to your liking now the first question is which ERC20 token we will be using in today's demo we are going to use wrapped ether today but you can really use any other ERC20 token and i'll show you how now in case you are not familiar with what is wrapped ether i have created a detailed tutorial on my channel and i'll give you a link of the video so you can go watch it but in a nutshell wrapped ether is a way to represent ether as one of the ERC20 tokens and keep that in mind that one wrapped eth is always equal to one eth Okay now moving on first thing is for us to obtain some wrapped ether in our account we will be using metamask wallet for demo but you can use any other wallet now i have already installed metamask wallet and i'll switch my network to gurli testnet so in case you don't see test networks like i cannot see them you can click on the show slash hide button and once we click on it we'll actually get a toggle to switch it on now i have switched it on now, as you can see now i can see all the other test nets so i am clicking on gorli test network and now i am switched to that let me again open this in expanded view as you can see i already have got some little amount of gorli eth i already have some wrapped eth and also i have some other tokens look like they are some nfts so i'll tell you how to get this wrapped eth now you have many faucets so first thing that we need is first we need to obtain some gorli test eth and for that we have multiple faucets two faucets that i found to be in good working condition are one faucet by alchemy and another one by paradigm to use this gorli faucet by alchemy you actually have to create an account with them once you create an account you can request 0.2 gorli eth per day so i already requested previously some eth from them but i can demo it to you today as well just copy your account address and paste it here and just click on send me eth okay as you can see they might have sent me some curly token and in some time it should actually enter my wallet okay once you get this gorli eth the next step would be to actually convert this gorli eth into wrapped eth now as you can see i have already gotten 0.2 gorli test tokens now i'm going to convert this into wrapped eth now as you can see i have already gotten 0.2 plus some more gorli eth since i already had a little bit more so now i have got this much in total gorli test tokens now i'll try to convert this into wrapped eth so for that i'll go to uniswap page app.uniswap.org and i'll actually try to connect my wallet so i'm connecting metamask and as you can see it's on gorilla network so it automatically detects that you are on test network and you can actually convert your tokens on test network so i'll actually see that i want to convert 0.1 and i'm going to select the token as wrapped eth now i'm gonna click on wrap and i'm gonna click confirm okay now we'll go back to our metamask page and we'll see if we can get some tokens some more wrapped eth tokens so ideally i should get around 0.1 more so it should become 0.2 wrapped eth now for me you can see my test token have also decreased and you can see i have now gotten 0.291 wrapped eth now i have opened my vs code and i am going to write down few things that we will need for our program today that is what all do we need in order to obtain this balance of 0.291 for this wrapped ether token so first thing is we will need the gorli rpc endpoint we'll actually gonna use infura today so to call their apis they'll actually need the api key from infura 
Now, second thing that we will need is we will need the contract address of that wrapped ETH token. Now, third thing that we will need will be the ABI of wrapped ETH contract so that we can make a call to its balance of function. And fourth thing that we will need is the wallet address for which we are trying to obtain the balance of one of its ERC20 token. In this case, this is the wallet address. So I can very well write it that we right now only need three things. First thing is to obtain an API key from Infura and get our RPC endpoint. And then we will need the contact address for RAPT token. And then we will need the API for this RAPT contract. Now first I'm going to log in into Infura. So I'm on Infura.io page and I click on login. As you can see, I have already created a key for test network. You can actually click on create new key and you can create a key for yourself. I'm going to click on test network and I'm actually going to copy this key. So if I click on manage key, I'll see a key. I'm going to copy it and that's what we need. So I'm going to come here and paste this key. Usually you should not show it. I'm going to delete it after this tutorial. Now, next thing is we need the contract address for this wrapped ETH token. So let's see how we can get that. If I look into my activities, I can see that there is this transaction. I'll try to look it on View Block Explorer so that we can get the contract address from here. You can see this is the contract for wrapped ETH. If I click on it, you can see this is the wrapped Ether contract. And I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here. Oops. Okay, now we'll need the ABI for this contract. Now, since this contract follows ERC20 standard, it will really be same for all contracts following this ERC20 standard. So I'm just gonna go to this link and you can see this is the ABI for ERC20 token. And I'm gonna copy everything, but luckily for us, we don't need everything. We are only going to need those functions that we are actually going to use in our code today. So let me create one more file and call it abi.json and I'm going to paste it here. Now here I only need balance of functions. So I'm going to search it here and this is the one that I need. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to say array of this thing. So I can call this. I'll basically make use of it. So for now, let's keep it like this. Okay, we are done with the ABI as well and we already have valid address. So now we can start our coding. Now I'll create a new file token.js. Now first thing that we need to install is Web3 library. We'll be making use of Web3 library. So I'm going to do npm install Web3. Okay. Now Web3 library is installed. I can create a variable for it. So let's say const Web3 equals require Web3. Okay. Now next thing is we need the RPC endpoint. So for that, let me go to the Infura page. You can see it's Infura docs. And in this one, you can see for curly testnet over HTTPS, you need to call this endpoint slash your API key. So let's copy this and I'm gonna put it const API key. Okay, sorry. Uh, it should not be API key. Let's say const. Let's say in few guys are provider. So let's say provider or we can say endpoint also doesn't matter. Here I paste it and here I should actually paste my API key so that I'm going to copy it from nodes. Okay, now here we actually need this API key. Let me delete this and create a page string. And okay, we are good here. Now we'll need the tokens contract address. Token contract. 
रहा है अच्छा इस कॉपी पेस्ट इट हियर ओके नाउ वी नीड इज वैलेट एड्रेस वी कैन नाउ लेट मी कॉपी इट फ्रॉम हियर okay now the next thing that we need is the abi so i'm going to say const abi equals and i'm actually going to copy it from this file okay now we have the abi web3 and all other things let me increase the font a bit so that you can see it more clearly now we need to plug in this provider in web3 dot provider so let's say const Web three equals new web three new web three dot providers http provider and plug in our provider. now we can create a contract instance on which we can actually call our balance of method dot contract we need to plug in our api and token contract address okay now let's actually define a separate function to get balance let me follow let me follow can we get notation the constant result upgrade contract dot methods dot balance of valid dot call Web three dot utils dot from v of this result, and we'll format the result, and then voila, we can just console log this format. So the value that we are going to get from rest is going to be in v. So with format, we are actually converting it from v to ether. So when you will see the result of this log, you will actually see the value in ether. So we are actually going to see the same values. And not in way denomination. And now I make a call on get balance function. And let's run it and see. The deciding moment is here, and I'm gonna run it with node token dot js. Well, we got an error. From way is not a function. I have done a typo there. So let me correct it. Okay. Open the terminal once again. Let me clear the screen, and I'm gonna run it again. Well, we got zero point two nine one. Let's check what was our. As you can see, we have zero point two nine one wrapped deep. Now to test it even further, I'll actually reduce this quantity. So I'm gonna decrease, or let's say. We have zero point one grillite. Let's convert more of it to rapidite, and then we will see. Ah, uh, let's say I convert zero point zero five of ETH into rapidite. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna click on confirm. Okay, let's see if we got some more wrapped ETH. It's pending. Okay, it's complete. Now we have zero point three four one wrapped it. Let's run this program again, and we should now get zero point three four one. Yes, voila, we got the correct amount. So, folks, this is how you can view the balance of any ERC twenty token. And I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please subscribe to my channel, give a like to this video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.